Big new topic. Hooray. So, uh, this will be, I hope you'll find, uh, a bit of a breath of fresh air after parametrics, which a lot of people find just confusing and a lot of intense algebra. We sort of dial it back a little bit and say, okay, relax. This concept as a whole is generally easier to wrap your head around. However, it goes some really, really important places. So it's not as though things are, are getting easier. It's just a temporary break for your brain uh, while we get you going for the next thing. So this is the heading. There's the date. Got this down already because I was a bit more organized today. We are interested in a particular kind of new object. Actually, a whole bunch of them that are related together. There are three and I'm going to explain them in order, which as you'll see in a second is quite ironic. So, even though it's not in the title here, um, the best place to start in this topic is with an object, a mathematical object called a set. It's a really, really simple kind of object. All it means is you collect a bunch of things. Uh, in fact, a collection is a good way to define or a good synonym for a set. You got a bunch of items, they, they could literally be anything. They could be a bunch of numbers, a bunch of functions, a bunch of shapes, anything you want. Um, all that matters is that you've got a, a bunch of them and you put them in a big pile, okay? That's what a set is. Now, where it starts to hit, the rubber hits the road for this topic, is when you say, well, let's take that collection of things and let's put them in some kind of order. So a sequence is a set that has an order to it. A set with order. So for instance, here's a set. Uh, it's a, a black marker and a red marker and a blue marker, okay? Here's a set, no matter which way you look at it, it's still the same set, you know, nothing's changed. But for me to say, okay, let's make a sequence of markers. This sequence here, um, blue, black, and red, is different from this sequence here, black, blue, and red, right? So all that matters here when we talk about sequences is, all right, now it matters which order I place these in, and that's what makes this a sequence. We're not gonna get into a series until a little bit later in this topic, but it makes sense to talk about them now in this context, which is that a series is what happens when you take a bunch of objects in a sequence, and then you add them up. That's all it means. If you add, everything in a sequence together, you get a series, okay? Now, each of these we indicate with notation in its own way. So for instance, a set, you'll see a bunch of, um, a pair of curly braces. So for example, one, two, uh, seven, three, something like that. If I were to say make that into a sequence, I could say uh, one, comma, two, comma, seven, comma three, so when you don't have the curly braces there, it's like, ooh, suddenly order here is important. These two sets, three, seven, one, two, would be the same set. But if I were to write three, seven, one, two, now the order is different, they're not the same sequence. How would I turn this into a series? Instead of writing commas, I'm just gonna have plus signs, right? So one plus two plus seven plus three. There you go, okay? Now, since in each of these cases, right, there's this idea of moving forward through the sequence or moving forward through the series, whereas with a set, there's no forward or backward, there's no, there's no first or last part. Because these parts sort of have a forward and backward, we have a synonym that covers, um, synonym's not the right word for it, um, we have a category that covers both of them. We call these guys progressions because you pr can progress from one term to the next. 